Hello, I'm Simplify. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this grainy, distorted ghost effect in Photoshop. Honestly, I don't know what to call it, so just let me know in the comments. The first thing we need to do is make sure our image is a smart object, then we need to duplicate it. So hit Ctrl J. Hide the duplicate layer, because we'll need it later. Select your image, then go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Pad Blur. Delete the existing pad blur, so just click on the circle here and hit delete on your keyboard. Now we need to make a slide shape with our blur here. So I'll just make a point here, one on the cheek, and I'll just slide it here to the tank top and just hit enter on your keyboard. Over here on the settings for the pad blur, I'm just going to change it from basic blur to the rear sync flash and increase the speed so you get something that you're happy with. I'm just going to do like maybe 400 and then hit OK. And of course, you don't have to do the same setup I did for the pad blur. You can experiment till you get something you're happy with. The next step we need to do is add some noise. Make sure your layer is selected. Then go to filter, noise, add noise. Keep this number low. I'm just going to give it like a 5. For the distribution, I'm going to set it to Gaussian and enable monochromatic. Then hit OK. Now we need to apply a gradient. So go to adjustments, gradient map and choose a gradient of your liking. I'll just choose this one I made earlier. It's just a plain black, orange, and white gradient. After choosing your gradient, just hit OK. If you want to take this effect a step further, remember that duplicate we did at the beginning of this tutorial. Just enable it and drag it behind the gradient map. While it's selected, go to Filter, Filter Gallery. In the Sketch folder, apply a half tone pattern, set the size to 2, and the contrast is 0. Then hit OK. After that, set its blending mode to either lighten or soft light. It depends on your preference, but you can experiment. I'll just do lighten here. And that's it. If you want to support the channel, check out my website. I provide a lot of free and paid assets. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.